Yeah, what is the culture like? Like, what are people oh, okay. like? Are they friendly? And is it safe to travel to? Um, I would say that it depends on where you go. Um, Chile is a very long and narrow country, right? So we're basically divided into um, three main parts, I would say. The capital is right in the middle of the country. And then you have the north and the south. I always say that you have to visit the capital, Santiago, because it's, you know, interesting, but it's not the best. I wouldn't stay here for more than three days. It's just another big city, right? <laughs> um, but I recommend going to the south because it's really beautiful. People are very nice there. Their food is great. Uh, the weather is very nice, especially if you go in the summer. And the landscapes are just mind blowing. So if you really want, you know, to have your mind blown away, then go to the south. You can also go to the north. Very nice, but it's it's the opposite because it's more it's dry and hot and it's more like a desert. It's not exactly rainy and green and 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 um, sunny like the north, uh, the south. Sorry. And Santiago is, you know, just another big city. We have four seasons here, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Right now it's uh, fall. It's freezing today for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, global warming, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I would say that, yes, it is safe to travel here, especially if you travel, you know, to the south of the country. I would say, you know, um, the capital is, you have to be careful depending on where you go. Because, again, it's a big city. There's a lot of people here. Mostly, you know, all everything is concentrated here, right? So universities, hospitals, right? Um, people. There's a lot of cars. We have, I think we have an overpopulation of cars. So, again, I would visit Santiago for like three days, not more than that. Um, if you want, you know, really rainy, green, rainy weather, green landscapes, nice food, nice people go to the, the south. And if you want to see, um, um, or if you want, you know, hotter weather, drier weather, and if you want, you know, um, a desert-like, um, desert-like landscapes, then go to the north. The food is great there, but I, I, um, I'm not a fan of, you know, the north it's too hot too dry and uh there dry. isn't much to do there because it's again very it's a desert <laughs> it's a desert right yeah. some people can find desert interesting you know if you're feeling uh sorry filming you know and movie yeah. or something <laughs> yeah the, the nice thing about chile is that because it's really long we have different kinds of weather, right? So if you want beaches, we have beaches. If you want snow, we have snow. If you want mountains, we have mountains. If you want lakes, we have lakes. If you want a desert, we have a desert. So we have pretty much all kinds of weather and landscapes here because it's a very long country. Right. I'm trying to Google the map of Chile. Oh, yeah, sure. It's really long. You're going to be surprised yeah. if you haven't seen it. It's like a long, a very long stripe. <laughs> yeah it's it's cool and uh very, very you... narrow yeah right exactly very narrow yeah true man i've never yeah. seen this before <laughs> yeah it's a very the, the shape of the country is really interesting yeah very it's like a pencil true yeah it's uh surely similar to the south end of india oh interesting i didn't know that yeah but very very pointy very pointy yeah yeah, so if you go south, it's, you know, rainy, green, um, windy, cloudy, depending on what time of the year you go. And if you go north, it's drier, hotter, uh, like a desert. Dry. Actually, um, I don't know, have you ever heard of Atacama Desert? Atacama? Um, yeah, that's our most I famous think I have. Yeah. desert. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really famous. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, NASA comes here a lot, and they... Ah, a lot of experiments there because it's, it it looks like the moon. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah some some <laughs> okay. areas 
Uh, uh -huh. Exactly, like the moon, yeah. Right, I think I have seen um, that part of Chile in some travel video. I think it's really famous. Yeah, it is. It is. We have a mm. lot of... Um, it's. I think it's one of the most famous deserts in the world, Atacama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Bolivian. Yeah, Santiago is a big city, you can see. All yeah. right. What do Chileans eat? Uh, I guess it depends on where you go, right? Uh, because it's such a long country. People have different diets, I guess. Um, here in the capital, I would say that... Um, well, I don't think that we have something that we eat like every day, but we definitely have uh, traditional food that we eat in September because that's when we celebrate our independence. So one thing that we eat a lot is empanadas. Um, empanadas. Have, yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard of that word sure, before. Yeah. yeah, I do. I yeah, just it's like heard a, it today. Yeah, it's <laughs> like a like a turnover, and you can eat it baked or fried, and it has it's stuffed with um, onions and olives and meat and eggs, um, raisins. Sometimes it depends on who makes the empanadas. And uh, it's something that we eat a lot um, in in September, like I said. But we normally eat it throughout the year, I would say. Empanadas are very common throughout the year. Um, and, and, yeah. Una empanada, por favor. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I've so been watching uh, this vlog, you know, from Chile and just, uh, just saw the empanadas today. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really, we have a lot of different kinds as well. Yeah, so, uh, but I would say that the two main kinds are baked or or um, fried. Right. Do you also have a vegetarian empanada? Yes, for sure. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do have that as well. There's a lot of vegan food here. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and vegetarian food as well. Um, and of course, you know, we drink a lot of wine because we have really nice wine here. Um, that's one of the things that I like about Chile because I really like wine. Um, and you can visit a lot of different uh, vineyards here. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, I recommend doing that if you visit Chile. You can't visit Chile and not have wine. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe Chile would be the place I'll taste it for the first time and the only time, probably. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, wine is is very nice. Um, and what else? I don't know. So, yeah, I would say empanadas. And, of course, we have more elaborated dishes, but I'm not a cook, so I wouldn't know how <laughs> to describe them. <laughs> no, yeah. All right. That's. I think that's enough. Thank you so much for the answer. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, 